I am on my way to Amarillo, Texas. It is an hour drive. Today I want to go pick up a few things from my John boat, but the main mission is to go find a fish finder for the John boat. We are almost done with the John boat. All we need now is a fish finder and get the wiring done. So we are, are super close to being done and that is super exciting. I also want to stop at Mandy Park and go do some catfishing as well because I have not done that in a long time. So let's head to Amarillo and just have an awesome day. The last white one. I got lucky. I needed two more though, so I'm not that lucky. Ah, uh, yes. I'm thinking about adding an aerator to the boat. It'll be in a cooler. I guess we'll go with this one. But we'll probably eventually want a live well on the boat, so. Now what? I am about to go catfishing though, so I do need some gear. I've never tried these before. I've seen them in stores for years. I'll get some more of those, I guess. All right, let's go get some worms. Here is the main reason I came to look at some fish finders. We're about to do some nighttime catfishing. The weather has been absolutely crazy here in Texas. This was the past week. It has been so freaking hot. So today we're avoiding the sun and gonna go do some night fishing. Ah, oh, looks good, real good. All right guys, I'm at Medi Park. About to do some catfish night fishing. So I am pumped, this is gonna be awesome. Hopefully we can get out some fish. I'm seeing a bunch of stuff surface. I guess fish are eating the bugs right now. I wonder if trout are still out here. It's probably way too hot for trout, but but uh, hopefully we can get out some catfish tonight. We'll see what happens. I've never done this before. Got a hit, got a hit, guys. Just got my second pull out and I already got a hit. I don't know if it has it though. Let's see what we got. Oh no. Nope, missed it. Missed that one, but that was the first bite. That was me. No, it wasn't, no it wasn't. That was not me. Okay, here we go guys, already. Come on, take it. That line's really tight. All right guys, the worms might be doing it because I just got bites back to back almost. Probably two minutes apart. Two hours out here in this lake and just got the first fish. This little catfish. Look at that guy. What are you doing, buddy? That worm was bigger than you. It's so cute and little. I didn't even know this guy was on my pole. I was reeling in to put my poles up and get ready to go and uh, I heard it splashing around on the way in. I was like, what the crap is that? It's a little five inch catfish. Well, thanks for making me not get skunked, little guy. But uh, I wish you were a lot bigger. All right, there she is, first fish, little guy. See you, buddy, go grow up. There she goes. Well, hey, at least I can say I did not get skunked. But now we're out of here. I'm packing up and we're gonna leave. So I came to Amarillo to get a fish finder, but I went to Academy because Gander was closed and Academy did not have the fish finder I wanted. So I came out here to do some night fishing and I decided to car camp tonight here in Amarillo and I'll wake up in the morning, probably do some fishing and then go back to Gander and get a fish finder for my John boat. That's the main mission for this trip. I'm about to go put my stuff up in the car and then go find a place to sleep. Holy crap, perfect timing. I just got to my car and all of the sprinklers just turned on. Wow, that was a sign. All right, so it is 1.30 in the morning. I passed out a few times, but I keep waking up. 
I woke up twice to a car alarm and then I woke up this last time because it was hot. Look right now, it is 82 degrees, 1.30 in the morning. Man, this Texas heat is no joke. So this reminds me, I'm gonna go to Home Depot tomorrow and go grab a fan that is uh, ran off a battery. I've seen them before and I really wanted one and this reminds me to go buy one. So tomorrow, I'm also gonna go buy one of those and uh, hopefully do some more car camping, go travel some more and uh, go camping some more. All right guys, so it is three in the morning. So I'm gonna go back out there and do some more catfishing, see if we can catch anything. I'm not tired no more. I took about a two hour nap and I'm wide awake. So why not go fishing, right? Let's do this. Okay, so I went to my spot, but there were people over there and it's kind of weird. They weren't fishing. They were just at the park at three in the morning. Really weird. So I came to this far end. So this far end has some runoffs, which might actually hold some fish. They stalk the fish way on that side, but the fish can make their way over here. Fish do love runoff, so we will try right here. We'll make this thing real juicy. Come on, baby, take it. A fish just hit my barber. Oh, oh, it's getting hit. It's not taking it though. This is fun. I've never had so much fun fishing. I haven't caught one yet, but I just know they're there. And just watching this bobber go down the stream is fun. So this is a setup. We got a bobber and then probably like 10 inches and then the hook and worms. It's very shallow right here, but it's full of fish. I'm just casting out and letting the current take my bobber. Guys, there is a giant catfish right there. Dude, they're everywhere. There's catfish all in this freaking lake, but I cannot see them catch them. They will not bite my worms. That's a decent, oh, there's two decent ones right there. That one's big. How freaking long is that guy? Damn, they're stacked up right here too. All right, I'm gonna try throwing a few worms here. I was about to leave, but I gotta try if there's a freaking catfish that big right here. All right, let's see if we can get one of these catfish to bite. I've been trying the last 30 minutes and nothing. I got a few bites. The barber went down probably like three times, but they wouldn't ever take it. Let's see where they're at now. Right there, I see one, two, three, four. Five, six, I'm gonna cast this out a little in front of them so it doesn't scare them off and then let the current take it. Come on baby, my last chance. I'm about to give up. It's going right towards them. I wanna catch one of these big guys, it'd be so freaking fun. Come on, cat. Oh, oh, it's getting hit, it's getting hit. Take it. Oh, it took it. It took it. Oh, I missed it. God dang it. No, I didn't. I got it. I got it. The littlest guy. Oh, my God. The littlest guy I've ever seen. Well, the one I caught earlier was small, too. Man, I saw some, like, probably one and a half footers in there, and I freaking catch this little guy. But, hey, better than nothing, for sure. I just caught the smallest guy in the bunch. I thought I missed it, it was so small. All right, there he is. Fish number two for the night. Once again, another small guy. We'll set him free. What the heck, man? I literally saw six giants and I pull out that little guy. Like I said, better than nothing. Let's keep trying. All right, well the flashlight is dying, so I'm gonna go ahead and call it a night i'm gonna go back to sleep get a little bit more rest oh see there goes the flashlight keeps dying on me so it's time let's call it a night okay so it is 8 40 in the morning i got 20 more minutes before camping world opens up okay so i'm coming to camping world for two things one is another fishing pole 
That is because all of the Walmarts around here are sold out of fishing poles completely and they're not getting restocked. So I'm thinking that there's not gonna be any fishing poles restocked in a long time just because of this whole virus. So I'm gonna come here and get a fishing pole that I seen the last time I was here. Hopefully they still have it. They had two, so hopefully they do. I don't ever wanna break a rod and then have to go buy one and there's all the stores be sold out. So I'm gonna go buy one now before that happens. And then the second thing I'm gonna get is a fish finder for the John boat. Last time I was here, I saw a fish finder I wanted. So I actually planned to come here first, but they closed at six. I didn't know that. I showed up here at 6.30 and I was like, crap, they're closed. So I went to Academy hoping that they would have the same one, but they didn't. So that's why I had to stay the night. I did some night fishing. I only caught two baby little catfish, not even worth it, but hey, it was still fun. We got 20 more minutes until they open, but I got like four hours of sleep total last night. I'm pretty tired. Uh, this drive home is gonna suck, but oh well. We'll have a fish finder for the John boat, and that makes me happy, so. <sighs> About to go inside, hopefully. 20 more minutes. Should probably take a 20 minute nap. I just gotta get this rod, this fish finder, and then we can go home and pass out. All right they are open so there's only one left i wanted the gx2 ugly stick just because they're a really strong pole they're almost impossible to break and they got one left sweet so i'll be taking this and let's go look at the fish finders this one has a bait caster the other one i have is a spinning reel I guess it's cool to have one of each. I really just care about the rod though. Striker plus seven. So I'm looking at this bad boy right here. Let's turn her on. I think this one had the live imaging, which is what I wanted. I hope I'm correct, we'll see. And it's touchscreen too, that's sick. Let's see what we got. I guess it doesn't have a live. Which one had a live? Let's turn these all on. I thought one had the live imaging. All right, so I'm back at Academy. The fish finder I saw at Gander, I thought it had live imaging, but it didn't. So I said, if I'm paying this much, I might as well go for a bigger screen. And I saw one here at Academy that had a bigger screen. So let's go check that out now. Okay, so we're at Academy and I like this one. And this one I'm thinking about going with this one it's not touchscreen got side view clear view traditional I'm gonna go with this one. Has a way bigger screen, and I like the button layout more than this. Okay, so I just left Academy, and I got the Garmin Striker Plus 9 SV, and I actually got it for cheaper than what the price said. On the price on the shelf, it was $5.99, but when he rung it up, it was only $4.99. So, I went on the line and checked it out, and it's actually on sale right now for $4.99. So, $100 off. I wasn't expecting that, so that's awesome. <laughs> but, even more awesome, we got a fish finder for the John Boat. It is a 9-inch screen, so pretty big fish finder. Has the side imaging, all that cool stuff, so I'm pretty excited. Now I'm gonna head home and probably go pass out, honestly, or edit, I'm not sure. I'll probably edit and then pass out, but I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I will be installing this bad boy on the John boat very soon, but uh, I'll catch y'all in the next one. Peace.